I'm Tracy Baxter in the Times Herald Record Newsroom with this News Watch update. Talk about an election day winner. Someone bought the lone winning ticket in last night's Mega Millions drawing at the Valero convenience store on Route 302 in Circleville. The ticket is worth $326 million. Gene Myers of Circleville didn't buy the ticket, but he wishes he did. I was surprised. I was a little disappointed it wasn't me, but, you know, that's the way it goes. And, uh, you know, I wish the people the best on the who, whoever won. Yeah. So, it's a little excitement in Circleville. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody. I was down the store before, and they were talking about it. You know, everybody's excited. I mean, this is a big deal for Circleville. No word yet on who may have bought the ticket. By the way, the winning numbers are 9, 15, 24, 39, 41, and the Mega Ball won. Town of Goshen police continue to investigate a deadly crash last night on Route 17M. A passenger in the vehicle reportedly died in the accident. Uh, de details will be posted here at Record Online when they become available to us. And a man who pled guilty back in, in 2009 to keeping his dead mother in a freezer so he could uh, cash her social security checks has been arrested again. 75-year-old Roland Oslander of Cooks Falls and his girlfriend, 47-year-old Wendy Cavanaugh of Roscoe, are both charged with grand larceny for allegedly using Cavanaugh's deceased mother's debit card to withdraw money from a bank. Uh, Sullivan County Sheriff's deputies say the couple was caught on bank video surveillance using the ATM. Oslander served uh, six months in jail for keeping his deceased mother's body in a freezer on his porch for nearly a year and a half while he cashed her Social Security checks. With his News Watch update, I'm Tracy Baxter.